and welcome back to my channel. Today's vlog is going to be uh, following me and Steve around. Steve has the day off today and we are going to do some jobs. I want to paint uh, in here the um, inside of the fireplace. I'm going to paint that a darker colour just to sort of like set it off a little bit and I'm going to tidy up all of that mess on the table because the children have been uh, drawing before school and like just generally tidy around. I'm going to do that quickly and then I'm going to paint the fireplace. We've also got a, a gramophone that we have had for quite a while. Steve picked it up at an auction years and years ago with a job lot of records and the arm was broken. So a guy in... Um, Portsmouth, I think, very kindly fixed it. We paid him. He's called the Gramophone Guru, I think, on YouTube, and he fixed it for us. Oh, and he sent us. So the sound box was okay inside it, but we needed a new arm or something. I'm not sure. Um, but it's in a big, it's in an Edwardian case, apparently. That's how it was sold to him at the auction, and I don't like it. <laughs> it's, I mean, the carvings and things are very pretty on it, but I don't like the colour. It's it just looks a bit dirty and it's very old fashioned so we're going to paint that as well. I picked up some of the Rust-Oleum paint in evening blue I think and we're going to paint it that colour. I'm going to decorate outside the front of the house for Christmas. Um, I jazzed up my wreath, I don't know, it's at the back of the table. Um, from the cheap one, the £15 one I bought from uh, and then it's first attempt at doing some. I made some bows with some ribbon. So, oh, I'll get my bow. I'll show you my bow. And what I'll just go here. Uh, there we go. Back. Uh, they're just on the back of the table. So, I made these bows. There's one already attached to the wreath. These are going to go on the top of the little trees outside the house. There we go. Not too bad, are they? First ever. First attempts at making bows out of ribbons. So there we go, with the wired ribbon. I've got a green one and a red one, because they're, it's like two-sided um, ribbon. And put the little trees out, put the mats out, put the wreath out, put some lights on the trees. Um, Steve's in the kitchen washing the kitchen, kitchen washing the dishes at the moment. I'm full of cold. Please excuse my bonged up voice. Um, I had a vaccination, this on, on Tuesday, and uh, I was poorly on Wednesday, like aches everywhere. But unfortunately, I caught a cold at the exact same time, so it made it feel even worse. But the aches and everything have all gone, like the, just off the vaccine have gone, and uh, and I'm just left with a cold and I'm like, can't breathe through that. I get sinus pains really bad when I have a cold. But never mind. So, yes, T has the day off because he's been doing some weekend work. So he's got his time back. So he's got the day off with me today. And then later on, I might put a bit of slap on. And we might go for a mooch around a town called Corbridge and maybe get some lunch if we have time. It is only 20 past nine. So loads of time. The ingle, is it an ingle nook in the fireplace? It's only small, so that shouldn't take me long. I've just got to wipe it down. Oh, oh, something stuck to my foot. It always happens. Um... Yeah, it's just so we're just going to quickly tidy around and then I'm going to get cracking on painting the fireplace. And this is will be the last vlog before Vlogmas, which I'm going to attempt. We'll see how it goes. I'm not quite sure of the rules. I think I just need to vlog every day leading up to Christmas and show you how we do Christmas, I suppose. I'm not sure. I don't know. Just give me some tips. If you know it, because I don't really know. I just like dip in and out of um, what pops up on my For You page or who I subscribe to. And I'm not sure if any of them do Vlogmas or haven't in the past. Or I haven't been subscribed to people in the past who've done it. I don't know. Just wait and see. I'll just wing it. It might be. It might, it'll be my version. It'll be kerry <laughs> I don't know. Um... Okay, I'm going to stop rambling and tidy up and then we're going to get this fireplace painted. I'm really excited. I think it'll look really pretty, but okay, let's do it. Okay, I'm ready. So what I did is I went to B&Q and I found this colour that I like. It might not look good on the walls, but 
it, because it's just a, such a small space and it's just paint. I can paint it again if I don't like it. So it is Val Spa and I just bought two samples and because they had an offer on where you can get a free sample, it only cost me £4 for both of these. Um, and I think this should be enough. And it's called Blue Fringe. Let's have a look. And I only have one great big brush. So I'm going to have to be really careful with the big brush. Because the other brush I have is a wood care brush for the gramophone. Let's have a look. Oh, that looks... <laughs> It looks a bit brighter than what I thought it was going to be, but it might be darker once we put it on the on the wall. Okay, let's give it a go. And if it's wrong, I can change it, can't I? It doesn't matter, it's just pink. <laughs> I don't know. You know what's growing on me? It's drying over this side. I'll turn the camera around. It's drying a lot darker over there. And once the green <laughs> frog tape's gone, it'll look better. But I'm going to put some lights in. And I'm going to get some brass. Um, those things. Fire tools. Hmm. And I've got blue curtains. Our curtains are blue. I'm not sure. We'll see when it dries and I'll do a second coat and um, we'll see. I'm not sure. I'll, um, I'm going to go and put the uh, door decorations, door decorations outside, give the front door a clean and, um, and then come back and do a second coat. Let's see what Steve thinks, shall we? should probably clean the chalk off the wall that the children have put on but I think it looks quite cute and then later on we'll get the lights on and the ones on the trees are um, like six hours on 18 hours off so we just put them on once they'll twinkle for six hours and then go off again there we go it's pretty and there's the little mat and then this is my big all-weather rug mat that I bought from Costco to try and stop the mud coming in the house so much. There we go. Festive front door. Okay, I'm going to go put the second coat on the fireplace. We are on our way out for lunch. We've uh, left the gramophone. Steve's given them a clean up and we're going to paint it later. We're going, oh, this is sunny. Put a bit of, oh, that front. Oh, I've got a bit of makeup on and I curled my hair. But the sun is terrible. Well, it's not terrible, it's nice. It's November and it's lovely and sunny. So we're just driving through Hexham and we're going to go to the other side down to a place called Slaney and there's a little country pub there um, and just to get some lunch, just a sandwich, it's like a simple pub I think, just have one, it's not like a great big massive menu or anything but I think I'll just have a sandwich and just, ooh the sun in my eyes, and just have, I don't think I'm going to give up, this is uh, not going well, how can you see to drive? Just barely, even with sunglasses on. Uh, so yeah, just gonna go quickly. Go get some lunch, make the most of see having the day off. Ooh, that's better. Ooh, my lipstick looks very pink. Hmm, not sure. Um, yeah. Anyway, gotta go get some lunch and then come back. And I found some lights that I forgot about. The ones I picked up in Aldi. So I've got some little candy cane lights and some little um, what are they called? Christmas tree lights to put outside as well.
We are back from lunch. It was lovely. Uh, it's just the Rose and Crown in Slaley. It's just like a proper canny little cosy pub. Uh, I had a cheese and onion sandwich with some chips. Like proper homemade chips. I've just put my shoes on. And Steve had uh, hot beef. So I'm going to go out to the garage and show show you the um, gramophone. Steve is currently uh, painting it. He's starting to paint it. It's going to be like a dark bluey green like the other ones that we've got and I'm going to put the lights out the front and then we're going to warm up the children from school I'll turn the camera around so you can have a look what do you think so far? there it is oh I like the colour it's going to need two colours oh it's going to look nice you can't, the camera's not really picking it up properly it's quite dark in here make loads of space in here when it's not in here anymore so this is the gramophone and it's is it just Georgian isn't it? the guy said it was Georgian he thinks? yeah so, and it reckons about 1928. And this is like the little doors that you open to make it louder. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> Stay shining the torch on it. Uh, what's the paint? Show me that paint. What is it? Rustoleum matte furniture paint. So, and we've got some like, um, what have we got to put over the varnish or something over the top? Yeah, and was this it is. Wax? Furniture wax. Look at that. So we've got loads of really co old, cool records, so I've made a space, sort of. They're just there. Oh yeah, there's all the records. Next to me, food. They're a bit Temporary. dusty. <laughs> so Steve, I'll let you get on. I'll go yeah. put the lights up. Yeah. Ah. It's kind of, it's big like, but it just doesn't match anything. Do you think they, do you think they need a clean in there, or do you think it's just... Possibly, yeah. Yeah. It might be all right it's when it's been painted. No, not really. Oh, I don't know. Okay, right. See you in a bit. Okay, yeah. So, I'm going to go put the uh, lights, the little candy cane lights and the trees up. Like, just a little... St Ooh, change of light. Was it going to... There we go. Uh, out the front um, with all the decorations. And I think... I don't know what time to... We have no street lights where we live. <laughs> so it's like really, really dark. So I don't know whether... I suppose we wouldn't be out there after about 8 o'clock because we've got little ones. And the lights outside are for our benefit, really. So if I set the timers on... So the candy canes and the trees have only got four hours on them, so I'm trying to figure out what time I want to put them on. Probably to come on at about 4 o'clock. It gets dark at 4 o'clock in the midst of winter, doesn't it? And the other ones, yeah. So I'll do them when we get home because it won't be dark for the kids to see when they first get home from school. So I'll go and put those out and then I'll show you them. And there we are. I've put the little candy canes out. And we've got some little Christmas trees there. So hopefully it'll look lovely later on when the uh, lights are on. The, I was going to say the evening sun is out now, but it's 10 to 3. It's not really evening sun, is it? Oh, I didn't tell you what I did to the wreath. So this was the wreath I picked up from um, B&M's and it was £15 instead of £25 and it was a bit tatty, to be honest. So I put a bow on the front and then added these little um, berries that I picked up in Yorkshire Trading and then some of the gold... Uh, pine cones and some extra bows that were from um, where were the, bow? The, oh, the gold pine cones were from B&M's as well and I used those in my table decoration but I think it just jazzed it up a little bit doesn't it, it looks quite like I think <laughs> a bit hallmarky, <laughs> like a lovely traditional hallmark, I do love a hallmark film mine but yeah I even put a bow on my little jug over there, oh the sun's going in and there we go, it's really pretty. Well, I, I love it. Christmas is coming. Tree's up and they're going up next week. Woo! Oh no, what happened to my, this little tree? Oh, it's moved around. Oh, is, the, is it the bow that's moved maybe? Oh, the wind's blowing the bow. Oh, I'll have to tie that on a bit tighter. Or I'm... It's all going to be all skew-whiff on day one. Oh yeah, that bow's a bit... <laughs> it's gone a bit there. Uh, it's a bit drunk as well. Oh well, I'll have to fix those. But yeah, there we go. It's a pretty little garden. 
and I'll, uh, I'll show you when, when all the lights are on later on. But I'm going to go and collect Steve from the garage, because um, painting in the garage, listening to some music, and I go and get the children from school. And depending how tired they are, we might go down to the tree lighting in Hexham uh, later on. But we'll see. We'll see what they're like. back in from the Christmas tree lighting in Hexham which was lovely went with the children and see if I can put some lights on oh and it's um yeah it was lovely and we went to Cafe Nero and had a coffee um and my fireplace is dry you see it probably just looks black on the camera there oh straighten it up a bit Kerry um but I love it I think it's really lovely see can you see the navy like very dark blue it's hard to pick up in this light but it looks really lovely especially with the twinkly lights on so I'm going to put a fire on we're gonna get our pajamas on and I'm gonna leave that here for today um got a couple of little jobs done Steve hasn't finished the gramophone yet but it'll be a project over the next few days and then we'll be able to bring it in the house and I'm going to move the music stand and put it there I think so it'll just stand there because it's just a gap there with nothing goes there um, and then we're gonna have to move all of these things ready for the Christmas tree which is coming next week uh, so the children are upstairs putting their pajamas on putting their pajamas on and we're going to have some supper and maybe a glass of wine and uh, just relax for the rest of the evening and hear them all screaming and everybody's very tired so thank you very much for joining me thank you for watching another one of my little day in the life videos and i will see you next week for vlogmas thanks again bye